Ba 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 ba. What day is it, Judah? What day is it, Jacob? I'm glad you asked. It's June 2nd, National Donut Day. It's the United States premiere of Wonder Woman. It's my good friend Elijah Valerjevier's birthday. That's right. I still can't pronounce his last name right. It's the very last Friday of the school year. Engineering machine shop teacher Mr. Shelton's birthday. It's Mike the Headless Chicken. Wait, what? Cue the video. On September 10th, 1945, a Colorado farmer, Lloyd Olson, was killing chickens when one chicken refused to die. Olson thought, what a miracle, and nursed Mike the Headless Chicken back to life with liquid food through an eye drop. It was thought to be a hoax, but they visited multiple universities and scientists verified its survival. Olson then took Mike on a tour of the southeastern United States where everybody could marvel at Mike. Mike is now celebrated in Frutia, Colorado, where Mike the Headless Chicken Festival is dedicated to the amazing story of one chicken's will to live. Why did you make that? Because more people need to know about Mike. His inspirational story is amazing, and his festival is today and tomorrow. <sighs> it's Alyssa Argenbright's birthday. Oh, wow. Our DP News anchor, if you see her in the halls, make sure to wish her a happy birthday, students. It's DP News. The final Jacob and Judah Friday. And, it, wait, do you, do you hear that? Yeah. DP yeah. News is star. Meow. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. All right, we're good. And now, a message from next year's leadership. Congratulations, seniors, on winning class points. Hey, DP, come out to the Greek for lounge day on Friday. There's ice cream for seniors and teachers. Hope to see you there. What up? Everyone go to the Greek Friday for lounge day, and seniors and teachers get ice cream. The last beautified DP is tomorrow. <laughs> Have fun with friends, make our campus cleaner, and get your NHS community service hours. Make sure to bring a water bottle and sign up outside Miss Stone's office. See you June 3rd. Truth and Recruitment will be outside in the Career Center on Monday from 1220 to 1250. Learn about alternatives to military careers and more by being at the Career Center again on 1220 Monday. The National Art Society is having their last meeting on Monday in T5 during lunch. It is a mandatory meeting for all members. Pizza and salad will be served and remember to bring a snack if you're already a member. Do you still have questions about SBCC? SBCC Outreach will be in the Career Center today until 12 p.m. Please don't be shy and get it over from your teacher if you have any questions about City College at all. Anything else before we wrap up, Jacob? Oh, yeah. La Patera needs volunteers for the graduation ceremony next Friday, June 9th from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Email dgphotos805 at gmail.com if interested. Also, a cool event this Sunday, the Best Day Foundation, is a volunteer organization they're putting this on that helps children with special needs build confidence and self-esteem through safe, fun adventure activities. Check out this video for more. So alive, yeah. I'm happy head to toe. I'm in overdrive. You're right. Clear those clouds away. I can feel the sun. What a powerful program. It's so cool to have several of our students and teachers that are actively a, a part of this. To get, on, to get in on the action, they're looking for qualified swimmers to volunteer on Sunday. Go to www.bestdayfoundation.org for more. Wait a second. Whatever happened to that pool push-in? Contest thing? Yeah. 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 Well, the contest deciding whether me or Jacob will be pushed into the pool blindfolded, we've decided to give you, the students, one more day to vote. You have until fifth period to get on as many devices as possible and vote for Jacob or I to be pushed into the pool, blindfolded, possibly even thrown into the pool. We're still working out the details. <laughs> this legendary video will be aired on Monday. 
Well, we're closing up our last Jacob and Judah Friday, maybe ever. We'd like to thank you guys, the viewers, for putting up with the cringe the last seven weeks and giving us a chance to report to you the school news in hopefully a fun-ish way. We'd also like to thank our good advisor and friend, John Dent, the man working tirelessly behind the scenes to help run the DP News and yearbook staff. Also, we'd like to thank our producer of DP News, Yannick Gloucester. Although he's a hard time putting up with us sometimes, he does so much to make DP News what it is, and he makes it possible for us to put on this show to you guys three days a week. We greatly appreciate everything you've done for the program. And if any of you out there have a great idea for a new segment next year, want to try your hand on being on camera, or just want to make DP News what it is, please talk to your counselor about joining Video Production 1 next year. Signing off of the very last Jacob and Judah Friday, I'm Judah Brody. And I'm Jacob Ampola. Stay tuned after the show today for credits featuring our biggest bloopers and mishaps of the year. Thanks for watching us every Friday, Chargers. And we hope you have an amazing rest of the year. We hope to see you next year, but for now, it's time for your one and only DP Sports Report. Over to you, Caleb and Pierce. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. It's Caleb here at the showcase for the Engineering Academy here with Lauren Young, and we're going to ask him a few questions. So first off, Lauren, can you tell us a little bit about your experience in the Engineering Academy throughout your four years at DP? All right, so engineering's been pretty awesome. I'm um, getting to learn a lot of, you know, engineering skills that we use in uh, real-world applications, you know, especially at, like, my internship over the summer. Um, a lot of the things I learned in the Engineering Academy have uh, come into play there. So it's been pretty awesome. Awesome. Great to hear. So, um... You just finished up your senior project, so can you tell us a little bit about that process? All right, so with our project this year, um, the Engineering Academy is kind of taking a turn in how it's run. So it's now um, run more like a business in the sense that we kind of have um, people that we check in with who kind of help us along with our projects, but we have a lot of um, kind of like freedom to choose kind of what we do and how we do it. So um, in that sense, it's been pretty good to um, kind of like get exposed to that sort of working environment. Awesome, great to hear. And uh, what about your project individually? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? All right, so with our project, it's a, a zoetrope, so it works the same way a flip book does, where you have an animal, you spin it around on a disc, and then if you shine a light on it, it um, makes it look like the animal's moving. So we're hopefully thinking about putting it into like the zoo or like um, the moxie downtown so that we can teach kids about like biomechanics and stuff. Okay, so if I wanted to see this amazing project, where would I go? Well, hopefully uh, by next year you can go down to the uh, Moxie or you can go to the Santa Barbara Zoo, um, maybe even the Sea Center Natural History Museum, you know, and check it out. And if I wanted to see it today, would I come to the cafeteria? Is that correct? Yes, you would come to the back corner and see it. It has a black box on it, so you can't miss it. Thank you, Dos Pueblos. Hey DP, what's up? This is Sky because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, did you hear about the guy who dreamed he was eating a giant marshmallow? No, what happened? When he woke up, his pillow was gone. <laughs> Good one, Lindsay. This weekend's temperatures will have a high of 73 degrees and a low of 55 degrees with 71% humidity and 8 mile per hour winds. Monday's temperatures will be ranging around 72 degrees with 55% humidity and 9 mile per hour winds. Today's surf will be crashing at 2 feet with 9 knot winds. This weekend we'll have the same 2 foot waves with winds reaching 11 knots. So make sure to go to the beach this weekend and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a, a rad, rad day! day. <laughs> Smile. Smile. It's Hug a News Person's Day. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Also, we hope you all got those city college classes you were hoping for. I'm I know Jacob I did. Ampola. I'm Judah Brody. <laughs> Welcome back to the greatest news show on DP News. Deadline to submit is Monday, April 24th. There are day. It's the Cinco de Mayo. You do mean Cinco de Mayo, right? Well, oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We hope you have a burger-tastic weekend. Dude, that's like the worst thing we've said on air. So oh. here. What's wrong, Judah? I don't have my community service hours. Okay, Judah, I can't, first... I can't graduate. First of all, you're a freshman. Are you feeling overwhelmed about colleges? I know I am. Judah, you're a freshman. Oh, we Wait! Have... My awesome... Anyway, that's all we have. Wait! Beep, 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 beep,